Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Kim from Dream of Fierce Transpersonal Therapy. I'm here today to do the weekly astrology forecast. Right now, as um, I'm here delivering this um, wonderful live video, um, the moon and Pluto are um, conjuncting Capricorn. This can kind of give you a bit of an obsessive kind of focus to your emotions, um, and it may be about um, Capricornian themes like about um, getting ahead or achieving a goal. Um, Pluto uh, gives you an intensity about um, going for those goals and with the moon there it gets like you, you know you connect to it at a sort of deeper visceral level and um, yeah Pluto is very sort of visceral get those entrails kind of going and moving around so you might find at the moment you're kind of obsessing about something um, I know I am <laughs> but um, we'll press on with this little uh, weekly astrology video as best we can so once um, you know, a couple of hours time that um, Moon Pluto um, conjunction will um, be fading, and you'll probably notice that you get a bit calmer and more relaxed. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, after that, we're still in the new moon phase because the new moon was only um, on Saturday or oh, Friday. Night. I don't know. These time zones do my head in. Um, yeah, Mercury in, <laughs> Mercury retrograde certainly hasn't helped me recently. Um, I've been all a bit of a muddle and um, there was all that activity over in Pisces. I'm Pisces rising um, with Neptune and Mars. So my weekend, I was just kind of like a bit kind of, you know, teetering from, um, you know, a little glass of wine to feeling rather listless and didn't really sort of get as much done as I hoped. Um, but, um, yeah, Jupiterian optimism saw me through and here I am doing the um, weekly astrology forecast. So anyway, the new moon phase will um, soon shift into the crescent moon phase. Um, and it's always really nice to see that crescent moon in the western sky just um, before sunset. So, um, yeah, pop out there um, this afternoon or yeah, late this afternoon and you will, um, yeah, see the beautiful crescent moon in the sky if you have um, clear skies where you are. So the Aquarius moon will give us a more intellectual approach to the coming week. Um, that'll change signs oh, late Monday if you're um, in an Atlantic time zone and um, Tuesday here in Australia. Um, so that's a good way to get some emotional distance on things. We don't always have to be down there in the muck, kind of like wading through, and we can rise above and get a bit more of an airy perspective um, and be objective about what we want to do and why we want to do it. And that's a beautiful gift that we get from Aquarius. By Wednesday... Um, now direct Mercury will be moving from um, the late degrees of Scorpio um, and getting into Sagittarius. Um, Mercury's not super comfortable in Sagittarius. He's like far from home, opposite um, one of his home signs of Gemini. But um, Pluto's up there in Sagittarius. So even though we're a little bit sort of far off and, um, you know, kind of... Um, like inspired rather than grounded with our thinking, that can be beneficial to us, particularly at this time of year where, um, you know, we're wrapping things up for 2018 um, and kind of looking back. So it gives us a chance to get a, a bit of a philosophical perspective on where we've been and um, what we've got planned for um, 2019. Um, soon after that, uh, you, you know, it's, it's been a while until Mercury's out of shadow. He's out of shadow at 13 degrees Sagittarius, you know, pick speed up as he sort of heads towards that degree, um, reaches us on the 25th and then he'll be covering new territory. So we're still kind of going over some of that old retrograde material, particularly with um, Venus also going through um, the degree she covered during her retrograde um, in Scorpio, but um, pretty soon she'll be into fresh territory as well. And that will also be a wonderful thing. Yeah, so by Thursday, we'll, the moon will um, be continuing to gain in brightness in her waxing phase and getting to Pisces. I'm expecting a little bit of a... Um, Oh, Neptunian relapse kind of later in the week. You may find out that you, like, run out of puff. Um, so, you know, pace yourself and maybe sort of back off on your activities later in the week. Um, 
you get a bit of your mojo back when the um, moon moves into Aries. Um, Aries is a Mars ruled sign, but Mars is in kind of the oh, lazy, dreamy sign of um, Pisces. So we're kind of getting further echoes of that um, Mars in Pisces, Neptune, kind of like just like a you've got things you want to do but you don't really kind of have enough oomph to see them through um and you know we're sort of the moon's still gaining in brightness so we're still kind of you know tending towards like the lower energy levels like it, it's rising it's escalating and we are getting um you know more energized but we're just not there yet um but yeah you'll notice like things are starting to build up and um yeah particularly sort of towards the weekend where um Venus and Saturn form a supportive sextile and at that point I think um, we'll get sort of really clear about what we want from um, you know the festive season our social interactions what we want to do with our um, yeah recreational time and Saturn will give us the structure we're like well yes I will accept that invitation no I won't do that I really want to spend time with these people and you'll get a bit of um a clear idea of what you want to do for the festive season you know you'll make the list we'll need these foods and um hey sylvana um and yeah like tick off all those little things that will make your um christmas new year festive period um what you want what you want from it what's important to you at those deeper structural levels so satisfying your values um rather than you know just running up the credit card and giving gifts to everybody like what's really important to you and you might find that it is time with long-term friends um family you know like upholding those traditions that um you know maybe at times seem like a bit kind of heavy but actually lend a sense of social cohesion um and, and structure to our lives. I mean, you know, families are structure. Um, our friendship networks are a structure that offer us, um, yeah, support and um, togetherness. And um, yeah, that's a really nice thing. So yeah, pace yourself, pace yourself, pace yourself. Um, as I said, there's going to be some echoes of that um, listlessness with um, the moon coming into Pisces and um, Aries later in the week. So um, yeah, don't put that pedal down too hard, too fast and have a fantastic week. Ciao for now. Bye.